In this video, I'm going to walk through how to set up the FTP functionality on the IB3. In order to show this working from triggering to the picture being sent via FTP, I am going to use the third party software FileZilla in order to set up my server. Please note, I have FileZilla version 1.1.0. If you are using a different version or a different software to set up your server, these settings may look a little bit different. First, we need to connect to the FileZilla FTP server. By default, the host is 127.0.0.1 and the port is 14148. I would recommend keeping these settings at the default unless you know to change them otherwise for your setup. So go ahead and press OK. And next we need to go to server and configure. And first we need to add a listener. So I'm going to add, and this is going to be the IP address of the PC that we are using for our FTP. In my case, this is 172.19.102.254. And we wanna be listening over port 21 and we want to use explicit FTP over TLS to match the other settings. Let's go ahead and hit apply here. And next we're going to go down to passive mode. I'm going to just keep this custom port range from zero to about 65,000, but if you want to customize that to your network, go ahead and change that here. And next we need to use the following host, which is going to be the IP address of my PC again. So this would be 172.19.102.254. Make sure this box is checked. Next, we're going to go to the filters section. Under the allowed IP ranges, we need to include at a minimum the IP address of the PC and the IP address of the IV3. So I'll start with the IP address of my PC, which is 172.19.102.254. And then the IP address of my IB3 is 172.19.102.248. If you're unsure of what the IP address of the IB3 is, we can double check that in IB3 Navigator. So we'll hop over there. You can check this in the advanced settings go to change network settings, and here is that IP address. So I had 248, correct. So we'll hit OK. Hopping back into the FileZilla side, um, if you have any additional devices that you want to communicate with the server, just make sure it's within this range or that the IP address is typed in here. Next, we're going to go to groups, and we're going to add a group. I'm going to name this group test, and Click add here. For the virtual path, it's just going to be a forward slash. And for the native path, this is going to be the destination of the folder where I want to send images. So if I open up the folder and copy, paste this here, and then I want to make sure to select writable so that I can write to this folder. Hit apply here. And next we're going to go to users and I'm going to add a user. I'm going to name this tech support and make sure this box is checked for enable. I'm not going to require a password and I'm going to be a member of the group test. I'm going to apply those changes and hit okay. And now I'm going to jump over to the client side. So here's the client, and as you can see, I'm not connected to any server. So I need to go File, Site Manager, and add a new site. I'm going to call this FTP Test. And the host is going to be the IP address of my PC, so 172.19. 102.254, 254. 
make sure I am using port 21. And again, use explicit FTP. The user is tech support. And if you need to check that, you can go back to the server and go into your user settings and mine is tech support with no spaces. So I'm going to get rid of this space here. I don't require a password. And next, before we hit the connect button, we need to go to the advanced tab and check this box for bypass proxy. And then go to the transfer settings and make sure we select passive for our transfer mode. At this point, we can hit connect. And again, I don't require a password, so just hit OK. And you can see this change to empty directory listing, but I am connected. It's just that it, the directory is empty. So now this is set up on the FileZilla side. I need to go to my IV3 and enable FTP here. So I'm going to go into the advanced settings, go to the image slash result output tab and change this to FTP. Next, we go into the network connection settings. And here's where you can type in the destination setting. This is going to be the IP address of my PC. So 172.19.102.254, port number 21. And my user is tech support. I want to enable passive mode to match my settings on the server side. And go ahead and hit connect test. I haven't set my transfer conditions yet. I'll do that in just a second, but go ahead and hit okay. And you can see I am successfully connected. So now that I know I'm successfully connected, we can continue with the rest of these settings. In the global settings, it will allow you to select the file format of the images you want to be sending. I will select JPEG. And next it asks if I want to transfer judgment results. This is going to create a text file with the judgment results for each image that is saved or sent. So I'm going to enable this to show you what that looks like. You can enable an FTP error if you'd like. You can add the results, so the OK or the no good results to the actual image. So I will go ahead and enable that. And then you can select the image size between full or quarter. If you're concerned about the file size and how many images you might be sending, quarter might be a better option for you. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And lastly, we need to set up a transfer condition. So you have four different transfer conditions. I'll start with the first one. So enable it and then hit settings. And here's where you can select what images you want to be sending. For my example, I'm going to send all images. But if you wanted to send only no good images, for example, you could make that adjustment here. I'm going to select all. And next, you can set a specific transfer destination folder along with an index upper limit and how you want to be creating subfolders, whether it's by program, maybe different dates, or a combination of the two. I'm going to leave these empty for now. And lastly, you can add a total status condition to the file name along with a timestamp if you enable these two settings here. If you disable them, those will be excluded from the file name. So I'll go ahead and enable a total status condition so that's easily seen in the file name. You can continue to do this up to four different times for four different conditions, but I'm just going to use a single transfer condition. Next, I'll hit OK. And at this point, I am ready to put my IV3 into run mode and to save images. I'm going to trigger my IV3, and you can see I have a good part. Do it one more time, then I will swap it out. Trigger it again, you can see I have a bad part. So now I've taken about five to seven pictures. So I will open up the folder where I am sending these images to take a look. 
Here you can see I have a folder created from doing my test, my connection test earlier. And I also have a folder where my both the JPEG image and the text file has been sent. So if I open these up, you can see I have the images that I've just taken with my IV3, along with the timestamp, the total status, and, and the text result that goes along with it. I hope this video helped explain how to set up the FTP functionality but if you have any additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Keynes Option 24 Tech Support. Thanks and have a great day.